Hello, and in this screencast what I'd like to do is explain how Apache Isis generates a user interface from the domain objects. So looking at a simple object here which has got a, a name and an action called delete, um, we can see in the user interface that we can see the name and indeed the action and there's some additional uh, properties which are on the metadata tab which come from the framework itself uh, but what about the layout itself where we have a general and a metadata and it being only halfway across so this information comes from a layout.xml file which sits alongside the entity um, and this is modeled on bootstrap 3 um, so if you know bootstrap 3 uh, you'll recognize some of this that we have rows and then rows have columns inside and the span specifies how wide the column is and so a, a span of 12 is the full width and a span of 6 is half the width which is why this these two tabs are only half the way across the page and all this is live so um, if I were to change that value and then do a reload change classes that's going to copy that file over to the uh, target directory so it's there on the class path and I can reload and we can see that the uh, full width is taken up so um, that's the the general idea of this um, and I can change other things around as well I suppose I could change the order of the tabs just to prove that other things are available to be changed so metadata first um, and in addition you can see all these um, uh, namespace declarations and so what that also means is that if you're using an ID such as IntelliJ that um, it will provide uh, hints um, for filling details in and uh, let's find another example um, delete we can see there's things there um, and one last thing I want to just point out just before we finish is that you can also see that uh, what the framework requires is that there must be one region of the page where we specify uh, this tab uh, element uh, attribute of unreferenced actions is true you'll also see this one down here for unreferenced properties and finally one for unreferenced collections so that's um, so that the layout file remains sort of um, it's easy to, easy to maintain if the application were to uh, be extended and there were to be new um, properties or collections added either directly to the uh, entity or maybe through a mix-in or a contribution then we'll still get a, de a, a reasonable uh, re uh, rendering of that uh, domain object so I hope that makes some kind of sense um, as ever uh, give it a go try it out thanks a lot